Hi, I'm Denshi, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your very own Monero remote node on like a home server or something else. Now, any cryptocurrency, Monero included, relies on people running nodes, so copies of the entire history of transactions in the form of the blockchain on their computers or servers. In today's case, I'm gonna show you how to set that up on a home server running Debian. So the only prerequisite for this video is that you install the Monero command line software on your server, whether it be running Debian or, or Arch Linux or whatever. Just as long as you have the Monero software, then you can follow this tutorial. All right, so let's begin by looking at the size of the blockchain. I just want to illustrate something here. So I'm going to use the command du h to check the size of it. The location of the blockchain itself is relative to your home directory. In this case, I'm the root user, so it's going to be located in .bitmonero and then lmdb and then data.mdb. So check the size of it. As you can see, it's 106 gigabytes, which is very large. So for obvious reasons, you might not want to store this on your own computer, both because of bandwidth and because, you know, just storage space. So I'm not only going to show you how to set up a node like this on a different computer, like here via SSH or even on your own computer, but also how to connect to it separately. All right, so we're going to begin by taking a look at the Monero daemon software. So that command just goes Monero D like that. And if you run Monero D by itself, then it will begin synchronizing with the network. Now, I already have it synchronized, as you saw by that 106 gigabytes, so it says you are now synchronized. But for you, it may take at most probably uh, a few days to download everything. It took me a few days or so to download the entire Monero blockchain simply because it's 106 gigabytes. It's pretty big. And not only that, but connections with other nodes where you download it from may be spotty. But don't worry, the download can always be reinitiated by stopping and starting Monero D. So for example, if I stop it now uh, and then run it like 20 minutes later, it's not like I need to redownload the whole thing. I can just add new blocks. And the same thing goes when you're doing the initial sync. So you run this the first time and then you accidentally turn off the computer. You can always start it again and not lose any progress of downloading. But anyways, I'm already synchronized. So let's take a look at how we can actually use this. So by default, the binding for the daemon, as you can see, is on 127.001, so it's not public on our local network, and it's at the port 18081. Let's take a look at how to change these values if you want a different port or a different IP address. Okay, let's say we want to bind the daemon to a separate IP address, because if you want to use the node remotely, you don't want it binded to the local host. So how do you do that? Well, it's relatively simple. You run Monero D dash dash RPC bind IP and then the IP address. So in our case, we're going to choose our external IP on the network. To find that out, you can run the command IP ADDR or address and then go to whatever interface you're using. So in this case, I'm using this one over here. And as you can see, the IP address over here is 192.167.70.7. So I'm just going to copy paste that. I'm going to put that in. So Monero D dash dash RPC bind IP than that. You also want to add one other option, which is dash dash confirm external bind, which you need. Otherwise, the daemon will start. So running this, you'll see that the daemon starts. And as you can see, it's binded on 192.168.70.7 and on the same port. If for whatever reason you want to change the default port, you can always do dash dash RPC bind port and say 18085 or something, for example. And you run it like that, and as you can see, it starts it on 18085. Well, anyways, that's the basics of the daemon itself. Now let's take a look at how to actually connect to it. All right, so I'm now in my local Arch Linux system. I'm gonna show you how to connect a Monero wallet, whether it be GUI or the command line one, to this daemon over here. Now one thing I will do is change the port back to default because 18081 is a little bit easier to remember than 18085. And I'm also gonna note that this little uh, server is running under the domain name moneria.xyz. So I can give a domain name and set up this specific IP address to make things a little bit easier and to make it so you can also follow along at home because this little node over here is running as you're watching this video. This is indeed running and it's publicly accessible for you to use if you want to use a Monero node. But anyways, how do I connect with Run Monero wallet command line and you can use similar options to the Monero daemon. So in this case, we're gonna do dash dash daemon address and we're going to specify Moneria.xyz, which once again, that's the address of the server that points to the IP address over here. I specified that in my Etsy host. And then I'm going to give it the port. So in this case, 18081. And I'm going to also give it the wallet file. And I'm going to say an important command line option over here is to add dash dash trusted daemon right there. 
to make sure you don't get any errors. So I'm gonna run this. It's going to ask for my wallet password. I'm gonna put that in. And then as you can see, it has opened up the wallet. It did give me one error and that's about background mining, but that's okay because I don't want to enable that regardless. Anyways, this information over here is censored because that's just my private wallet information. But anyways, as you can see, I have connected my Monero wallet command line interface tool to this remote node over here without having to download absolutely any kind of Monero information onto my local computer. So my Arch Linux laptop doesn't have to download that 106 gigabyte file that is the blockchain. But this server over here does have to download it. Now let's take a look at how to do the same thing in the Monero Wallet GUI. So coming into the Monero Wallet GUI, if you're in advanced mode, which you specify when you set it up, you can always go to settings over here and, and close the wallet and change it back. You can go over here, restore wallet and do all that stuff and then select the advanced mode. But anyways, once in advanced mode, you can go to settings over here and then go to node and you can select remote node and you can specify that address from before. So Monero.xyz18081. So now this wallet GUI is connected to this daemon over here, which I'm running on the home server. So anyways, that was my basic guide to how to set up your very own Monero wallet daemon. If you want to see more crypto guides like this on how to set up things like for example the RPC wallet and other such similar programs that you might need on the command line even something like setting up your very own Monero pool which is actually quite easy to do then please leave a comment or leave a like or whatever to let me know that you enjoyed this video anyway I've been Denshi goodbye